My name is Anu Rangarajan. I'm in the Department of Horticulture at Cornell University, and we're here at the Homer C. Thompson Vegetable Research Farm. We are doing some research here on trying to figure out how to reduce tillage in vegetable production systems for the Northeast. And so we are focusing on primarily zone tillage systems because we think they're the best for our conditions in the upper Northeast where it's cooler. In zone tillage, we're only disturbing about an eight inch band of soil across the whole field where we're going to be planting. You can work that zone fairly shallow in sort of traditional zone tillage, which is a three to four inch depth using a set of coulters, or we can work deep. And we'd be wanting to work deep where we have fairly deep, where we have some compaction layers that we want to break up. This is our zone builder. It is made by Unverfirth, and there's other types of zone builders available from other companies. This requires about 30 to 50 horsepower per shake and a tractor with a high clearance hitch. In front, you have a set of cutting discs that cut through residue in the soil. Following that is this deep tillage shank. This shank is a very hard steel that allows it to travel 12 to 18 inches deep, even in the soil. But behind that, it's followed by hilling discs. These actually hill up the soil and create a mound that creates a very nice planting zone. And then these uh, rolling baskets break up any clods in the soil. So zone tillage is an improvement over conventional tillage because you are only working a narrow piece of ground. Using an implement like this, it allows us in one pass to prepare the planting area for a particular crop. And we've done this with a lot of large seeded vegetable crops, including sweet corn and beans and pumpkins, which are the most popular vegetables right now to do in zone tillage. And we're also exploring transplanted crops such as peppers, tomatoes, and cabbage. In the future, we hope to be able to do this also with root crops and smaller seeded crops. It's a big advantage over conventional tillage because here you only make one pass. You don't have to plow a disc. The advantages of that is that you conserve fuel, you conserve time, and you enhance soil quality by not inverting the soil. Here we're demonstrating the zone tiller in uh, a Sudex cover crop. We've used it in a uh, killed cover crop as well as a living cover crop because it's quite aggressive and it can handle that type of residue. Zone tillage doesn't require fancy equipment. We started out with this fairly simple tool, which involves three wavy coulters that create that shallow zone um, on and on a toolbar. And we have them spaced 30 inches for our crops the way we plant here. We make the decision on how deep to run our deep tillage based upon soil compaction. Because that deep shank that you saw is it's important that that runs just below a compaction zone. So it's important to have a penetrometer in the field with you when you start doing this type of work.